it was a trip down memory lane for Ray this week, as well as an awkward kiss on Legends. What's up guys, Eric here, and welcome to Rant and Review. In this video, we're going to discuss Legends of Tomorrow, Season 2, episode titled Land of the Lost, so careful for spoilers if you're not caught up with Legends this season. You've been warned, let's get into it. So this week, a lot of people told me they felt that Legends was the better of the three shows we saw, and I'm not really in that camp. I think Legends is great, and occasionally it has some excellent episodes, but this week wasn't the pinnacle of Legends storytelling. So this week, the main premise was the team trying to restore Rip's memories and personality, as well as having them all stranded in the prehistoric past. First, I want to talk about the filler stuff, which is what I call it, and that's the dinosaur portion of this episode. We have Nate, Ray, and Amaya out looking for a time delinear, I think that's what they called it. Oddly enough, they not only landed exactly when Ray was scattered to earlier this season, but right where he was, like right where he was, the same exact spot. Curious though, why didn't Ray just use his Atom suit and install the tracking technology for the part he needed uh, to restore the ship since they were using a handheld tracking device walking on foot? I mean, I thought it would be simple for him to just install that software into his helmet, but you know, um, it just seems overly dangerous for no reason at all. The Atom suit would have been the safest and most efficient way to track down this device. Uh, other than a few character moments between these three, there wasn't anything major outside of Ray telling Nate that he can't hook up with Amaya because of family and destiny. Oddly enough, Ray spent the better half of the first season saying screw destiny and he wanted to be with Hawk Girl, if you guys remember that. I have to say though, the dinosaur moment was pretty dope. I think the CGI for the dinosaur was cool. I love the moment that Vixen had with the dinosaur. Uh, clearly they saved, like we heard the dinosaurs throughout the whole episode, but they saved the budget for the dinosaur at the end for the big reveal. I think it was worth it. I did enjoy that moment. The major plot though was the other half of the team trying to free Rip from the prison inside his mind. Oddly enough, I didn't really have any problems with this segment. I actually liked this Inception mind matrix stuff. It allowed for more wild things to happen without being too technical. I did have a problem though with the electric shot button band thing that they were wearing since it didn't actually exist in their mind jacking world, only in reality. It seemed a bit flimsy to me. Uh, we haven't had Firestorm in ages, but this week we got an evil Firestorm, which looked pretty freaking cool to be honest. I just wish they could use the real Firestorm more often. I mean, it's been like, what, five or six episodes since he's really done anything? Normally I would complain. However, in this case, having them split up made total sense and it didn't feel like a plot device since we actually saw a version of Firestorm. So it wasn't like they were, oh, we can't have him in because of budget. It literally made sense within the story. And then we had Sarah versus Sarah, which was really cool. She's still my absolute favorite female superhero in the DC TV universe. We also get the real, and I'm using air quotes, real version, uh, a human version of Gideon uh, in Rip's mind. This was a great way to introduce her, and we find out that Rip really loves his ship. I mean, he really does. <laughs> so much so that they have this kiss at the end. It was really awkward because I'm like, oh, he's kissing this girl, and but the girl is Gideon and it's all in his head. The only thing that really bugged me here was how did Gideon remember this kiss outside of Rip's mental prison? I mean, maybe she was able to scan him during their time inside his head, or maybe it's just one of those legend moments that doesn't really make sense, but we just sort of accept it. I don't know. I think it would be cool if a humanoid Gideon did come back sometime on the show, but they would have to make her like an Android version or an AI version. I think that would be okay. And at the end, we get Rip back, and he seems totally normal to me. I don't think we have enough episodes left for another hat trick with him swapping sides. I don't think there's enough episodes left this season. I do think that the Legion of Doom may try to use some voice command on him or maybe mind games on him when they meet in combat, but I don't think he would totally switch sides again. Uh, he also knows where the final piece of the spear is, and it looks like we are setting up for the final standoff against the Legion of Doom. 
I do have some theories about what Eobard has in store for the Spear of Destiny. I think I'm going to do that in a bonus video next week, depending on what we find out. Uh, overall, I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was fun. Um, there wasn't anything overly exciting, but like I said, the dinosaur CGI at the end was really good on their budget, which is probably why we only saw a minute or so of it. Also, the way Vixen handled that, again, just totally dope. And I did love the Inception, like, Matrix thing they were doing. So I'm going to give this week a 7.5 out of 10, which is a pretty high score, but I think it's one of the more, like, narrative-heavy episodes. Like, I feel like there wasn't a lot of flimsy stuff going on. The story sort of flowed better to me, even the side stuff with the uh, prehistoric stuff they were doing outside of the ship. All of it just sort of flowed better. There wasn't a lot of really big issues with plot, which is something that bugs me. There's a couple small things, nothing big. Uh, I am looking forward to the last two episodes this season, though, because typically that's where Legend spends the majority of its budget on the premiere and finales. So when we get to the end of the season, we're probably going to see some really major stuff. But do you guys agree or disagree with anything I talked about in this video? Um, did, is there anything I forgot that you guys want to talk about? Anything in the episode that you may want to mention and have a chat about in the comment section? Um, yeah, I, I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, so let me know what you think, all right? Uh, take care, guys. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I will catch you later.